Well, good morning from the middle of a neighborhood where we have got to get that truck and trailer out of here. That trailer's got to go to a local U-Haul uh, store and that truck's got to go to a far away one. Apparently this thing is having transmission issues. So we'll see if there's any oil underneath it. No. It's a new one too. No major damage anywhere. Okay, it's facing this way on this tight street and down there's a couple really tight turns, but this all does loop around the neighborhood. My truck's over there on a wide open street. So this does run and drive, just transmission's not happy. So I'm gonna bring it around the block, face it that way, spin my truck around and then hook up to it faced out because that's the nicer way out of this neighborhood. None of them are a great way out of this neighborhood with a big wrecker and a big truck and a trailer, but the nicer way. Vehicle is on. Yes, thank you for telling me. First gear. Second. Third. Huh. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna park on the wrong side of the street so that the nose of my truck is pointed at the oncoming traffic on this super busy street that you see and uh, people tend to notice that in their lane a lot better than they notice the back of a truck in their lane so mm, turn it out a little bit here we be okay so spun around we're backed up we parked way too far away but we can move it so yeah this is a fairly new truck i didn't look at the mileage actually this has one of the 80 800 miles this has one of the uh 7.3 godzilla motors in it uh, i'm probably have to flip those forks under to get under this axle it's super low yep super low what I'm going to do is flop these side to side and 180. You can see now they sit up they sit up high and if we bring them well we could just turn them over but they're offset so now they sit way in but if we just bring them to the other side now we've got our our wide grab and they sit low so so I'm going to back up like a lot but first I'm gonna drop my forks in so they're already there check out my uh, backup camera that really the signal just crapped out on there it is so I can back up it's a wireless one so it totally sucks I really thought it would be better than it is, but Garmin's definitely got some work to do on. Okay, let's uh, send this out. Oh. Really? I know what I can do. Ever blocks. We just lifted it by that front cross member bar that ties the two spring hangers together. Probably could tow it by that bar as well, but I'd rather grab the axle. All the room in the world now. What I do want to do. I guess that'll work. Okay. We got it. Stick those right there for the just in case.
the easy way to tie straps. I don't know if this is the easy way or the lazy way, whatever you want to call it, but it works really well. Okay, now we'll go pull the drive line out of it. Let's go to the not street side of the truck. We're gonna put it into neutral so there's no pressure on the drive line. There's no pressure. Because if uh, there's pressure on the drive line, you pull these caps, they'll come flying out of there and like break your jaw or your arm or cool stuff like that. So, oh, how about we loosen it instead? I'm gonna wrap a ratchet strap around it before I pull the other ones out just so it can't fall to the ground and I have to hold it up while I do that. So, so. Check that out. Now the bolts are on the bottom. All the hardware's in the bag. Doesn't want to come out of there nice because it's never been out of there before. So there it goes. Okay, that drive line ain't going anywhere. Now, I normally use these cable ties, but I'm not going to on this one. And you'll see why when we get to the drop off point. I'm gonna leave this on here too. And you'll see why when we get to the drop off point and you probably already have it figured out. Okay, we are done with everything under the truck. So I'll remove these. Back here, we're done with that. We're going to bring this in. All the way and back out enough to turn. Now we're done with that box. Take our light bar to the back where there's probably freaking nothing to hook it to. Cool. Grab us a strap. Take our strap. We go from handle to handle. Tighten that up. Bam. Fuck. And these can come down. Grab. But you grab there. And you grab there. There. And we have light on the back of the truck. And we come in here. We take our key back in park because that doesn't matter. Parking brake is released. Turn our flashers on. And we have lights on the back of the trailer. Now, if I was towing this three hours away like that, I would find a way to mount that light bar back here. But for now, oh. um, going just getting out of where we are, across town a little bit, I ain't worried about it. Okay, that'll be fine there. Almost on the ground, but we will take this and we'll shorten it. Now it won't drag, but it has some extra slack if it needs. Same thing, get it to the ground, shorten it up. It's got extra slack if it needs, but it's not dragging. So we've got safety chains, tie downs, kind of a tow light. This is all hooked up correctly. High enough, we're not gonna hit there. We're not gonna drag there. Drive line's pulled and tied up. We are good to get out of here.
360 cam is back. Well, it's not actually back. Uh, thanks to a very generous donation from a viewer, uh, I purchased another 360 camera, and then I'm also gonna send my other one to be fixed. So then I'll have two of the X3 360 cameras, which will make things twice as cool. Okay, we gotta wind our way out of this neighborhood. I gotta make this right turn here, which looks no freaking fun. Why did this not look so bad on the way in? Um, we're going to cheat way over here, get the truck right on that tree. The lady walking a dog here is going to be thrilled. Get all the way over here. Luckily I have a back window in this truck so I can kind of look. Oh, that's clearing by a long shot. Not nearly as bad as I thought. Check out this car. That thing's really nice. Yeah, he definitely doesn't want me to scratch that. That is cool. Not as cool as this one though. Subaru, you're gonna be stuck in the snow in a month. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's go hit this roundabout and get out of here. Okay, we are here and there's a truck parked in the road. I was, huh, let's figure out what we're gonna do. Okay, talk to the friendly local U-Haul guy. He said, let's make this real easy. Just uh, unhook it up here on the street and then he'll come out with the forklift, hook onto it and move it in the yard with that so that I don't have to mess with it with this setup. So I'm gonna come over here Swing over in front of this guy. This car does not realize what's going on. So, I'm gonna pull on up here. Ah, now you got it. Get that I pulled in just pulled up here and then backed over and kind of pulled it over so, some more because it was sticking out in the road a little bit where I was so uh, you off done why couldn't it have been that one that would have been way easier to lift up okay well this is here, so let's go somewhere else now. But what I will do is turn off the flashers on this truck because now my light bar is visible on the back. I check the straps. Safety chain is still good. Strap should be still tight, so good to go. I do gotta say though, this Zach lift tows so much better than my rollback does. Uh, on my rollback, the trucks are actually the same wheelbase each truck is but on my rollback the bed sticks out to here then the underreach has to stick out to way back here so like the front of that truck would be back here which just adds a whole lot more leverage this thing you can tuck it up nice and close it tows so much better and then this lays down flat and gets under much better and has way more reach than my rollback does so uh i've done a handful of heavy tows with the zach lift now and I like it a lot. Okay, let's uh, let's head over the mountain and go get this thing dropped off. We're on the road and we're headed south. Now we're headed east, up over the top of the mountain. No, west, 100% west. Ski resort right there because we're at the top and uh, down the other side. The weather is definitely a little more wintry on this side of the hill. Oh, and we got a tunnel to go through. This is a Salt Creek Tunnel, so hold your breath. Did you do it? I 
I did it. We are here uh, at the maintenance facility where this truck will get all checked out and see what's going on with it. So let's uh, do like the unhook things. Okay, let's grab whew, these ones. All right, first thing as always is get the gloves on. We take our son of a bitch. There's no light bar here. That's an expensive mistake. Oh no. Okay, that sucks a whole lot. I guess those bungees weren't weren't tight enough. Well, that's a very expensive lesson learned there. Okay, from now on, we're gonna stretch the bungees as tight as we can. Every time, always, forever. That sucks. Oh, that sucks a lot. We are going to go back the same way we came, because there's actually a couple different ways to get back home, and, and hope by some freaking chance that thing is sitting on the side of the road. That is the first time I've ever lost a light bar, ever. And I don't like it. at all. He said I didn't lose the drive line. That would have been a whole lot worse. Come on. There you go. Oh, and uh, I said earlier, you'd see why I didn't, there we go, uh, use my normal cable ties. That's why. Normally, this place is an absolute nightmare to get in and out of with a big truck towing a big truck. So if it does run like this one does, I pull in just off the road right into the beginning of the little driveway here and throw the drive line in. Oh, camera fell down. And then uh, drive it in separate from my truck. But this time I was able to come all the way in because it's Sunday and nobody's here. Okay, got those two on. Now we will bump it out. Look at all the brake dust come out of that. Jeez. I can throw the other cap on. Holy crap, look what I just noticed. Somebody definitely drove it. A very long way with the parking brake on. So much that this is like deformed like that. And it wasn't me towing it with the parking brake on because look, it's cold. That's nuts. Alright. Man, I am so bummed out about that light bar. I mean, luckily I do have another one in the rollback, so I'm not like out a light bar, but that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna extend this all the way out. Then I will put it in park and apply the parking brake that's probably totally smoked now. Now we might get lucky with this kind of dip we're sitting in that we won't need to put the blocks under the tire. So let's see. Oh, I 
think so. Oh yeah. That was just the extra bit of clearance we need. Well, at least we got one win out of that massive fail. I need a better spot to store my airline because it falls in under the hooks. Okay, put the blocks away. So we have, oh, and I even thought like, oh, I can just put these straps and bungees right here. I got this open space because there's not a freaking light bar there. So they're going to have to go out of the way. All right, got blocks, driveline stuff. The remote is put away. The light bar is not. Under reaches up. Safety chains are away. Forks are back. Straps off the back, light bars on the road. I guess that's it. All right, well, we're out of here and I am a sad Casey because I screwed up and uh, did not properly secure my light bar and now I made no money today. So we're gonna head home uh, the exact route that we came over and hope for the best and I will update you in three seconds. Three, two, one. Nope, never found it. Retraced my tracks the whole way back, all the way to U-Haul. So for now, we'll grab one out of the rollback. How's it going, Rusty? And we'll throw that in here. And I get to go inside and uh, order another one. $700 mistake. I will say this though. It's a whole lot cheaper than losing the oversized sign off the back of a Kozad, and there's only one person on earth who knows what I mean by that. The heavy haul days.